This is spring training for the Lucky Catch crew in Portland, readying their traps and boats for the annual migration of lobsters and tourists to Maine's coast. Dave LaLiberty, now in his 20th year of pursuing the catch of the summer. One of the fun things about lobster fishing, you never know what's gonna be in a trap when it comes up. You like that uncertainty. I love it. Adding to the uncertainty, warming waters fueled by climate change, says research scientist Dr. Kathy Mills. The Gulf of Maine has been warming about three times faster than oceans around the world for the past three decades. And in the past 10 years, we've been warming about five times faster. In southern New England, warmer waters contributed to a 78% decline in lobsters, while lobsters in Maine boomed up 515%. The difference, scientists say, the decades-long conservation practices of Maine lobstermen. There we go. We got lobsters in the first trap. Marking egg-bearing females and tossing them back along with lobsters too big and too small. I do think the industry is very well self-regulated. It's also the lobstermen that are coming up with these rules and regulations. Is it even more important in the era of climate change? Absolutely. They are creating this added boost, this added buffer that then enables that population to withstand other effects that might be associated with changing environmental conditions and climate change. To preserve a way of life that goes back to pre-colonial times and still delights today's American. Look at those claws. Mark Merrill's lobster shipping business jumped 600 percent during the pandemic. What responsibility do you have? We're kind of an ambassador between the fishermen and the customer. So our responsibility is really to communicate, this is what we do here, this is why we love the Maine lobster fishery. A product lobstermen want to last. You're protecting your own future, you know? Every lobster I throw back, I'll get it again. It's going to go down there, it's going to eat a little more, it's going to fatten up, and we'll catch it next time. Building a future resilient against the tide of climate change. For today, Ann Thompson, NBC News, Portland. Beautiful part of the country there as well. Sure is so important what they're doing for a real staple. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.